Hi and welcome back at the museum. Today's video is initiated by Jamie Hill and he's from the UK. He sent in some TCC tapes as a donation and some of these tapes had minor dropouts as he already noticed before sending them out to us. The dropouts on tapes can usually be caused by a dirty hat or bad pinch rollers or even leaky SMB capacitors. But a lot of you have problems with DCC tapes that occasionally have a dropout or even worse, automatically flip from side A to side B. The cause of that is actually the DCC tape itself. Albert Belandron, who we visited filming the DCC documentary last year, is actually using a technique on restoring and cleaning those, uh, those tapes. Oxidation and dust on the tape, mostly caused by storage and not rewinding when you're done playing the DCC, are the cause of this. In today's video, we're going to show you how Albert has perfected this technique, how we copied it here at the DCC Museum, and sharing that result with you. Hope you enjoy it. One of the uh, problems or issues common to all DCC tapes, uh, they have this uh, issue called a dropout, meaning that when the tape is played, some of the information does not get to the head, so there is some uh, debris or something that is blocking that information to go from the tape to the player's head. And initially I did not discover uh, how to fix this problem. Uh, I think you have heard a clip of uh, Tears for Fears element that the sound was cutting in and out. Uh, that's, that's the telltale sign of a dropout. And I discovered that, you know, I pulled the tape out and basically look into the, the, uh, the tape by itself under an LED light. Uh, just with my naked eye, I could see uh, little spots uh, right where the tape cut uh, music in and out. So I just use my finger and kind of like just go back to where that uh, count was on the, on the player and just look for some depression onto the tape material itself and use, just using a regular Q-tip with some rubbing alcohol, 91%. Uh, I'll just, uh, just lightly douse the Q-tip here with some alcohol, not too much. Uh, you don't want uh, a lot of alcohol on it. So I'm just dabbing away some here and just pull back the uh, cover for the tape. And right at the pad, when you clean uh, the area that you identified to have some sort of debris or film that is just giving you a different color than the regular black tape. You can see it with uh, the naked eye. So I just would use the Q-tip, just gently uh, clean the area right above the pad, not anywhere else, not to the left or to the right, but right to the center of the pad and just giving it gentle strokes left to right. Don't have to do circles, just left to right. For our experiment, we're going to use a DCC by snap that is automatically skipping from side A to B and see if we can restore this using this technique. Since we have a magnifier, we can show you the process more clearly. Let us show you the problem first. In the middle of track 5, the tape switches to side B. We tried playing it numerous times, going back and forth, as this occasionally solves the problem. This time it seemed the perfect candidate for restoration. We held a metal shell back with a piece of masking tape. Only LED lights seem to work best, and since there is always a buffer using any DCC player, you will have to wind the tape back gently and slowly by hand until you see the problem area. 
So this is what causes the audio to drop, or in this case make the tape skip from side A to side B, since it can't read all the digital information. We are using isopropyl and a cotton swab several times on the pad. We let it dry before doing another run until all the debris was removed. Remember, at 22.42 the tape always skipped from side A to side B. With a little patience you will now be able to solve most of these audio problems caused by the DCC tape. Most problems can be seen with the naked eye and we only use the magnifier for making this video. Uh, so I hope this helps some of you to realize what the issue is and it's, it's part of just tapes uh, not re rebound all the way back to the leader and tape has been exposed to, you know, it could be oxidization, oxidization that I'm just speculating, but it has some correlation. It is a magnetic material and when the oxygen corresponds to magnetic material, they oxidize. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time.